hello guys good morning in today's video i'll be taking guys along in what i cook in a day yes what i cook for my family of five in a day so this morning is breakfast time i'm not those kind of people that like going by the roadside to get a car i like making all my meals from the scratch for my family and i love it very fresh so this morning i washed a cup of beans yes I blended it in my blender and it is me turning it in my mortar to make it fluffy before I fry. Yes. So this morning I'm going to be making fried akara and oats for my husband. But for the kids, they are going to be having theirs with, with custard. Yes, because my kids love custard with their akara and they take oats alone. Yes. So here my oil is already hot. I'm about scooping some into the hot oil. Yes, like this is the first batch, and I know it's going to come out very, 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 very yummy. Yes, I make yummy meals. You can say that again. Anybody that knows me know I am a pro when it comes to kitchen affairs. Yes, my akara is turning out well, as you can see. I'm trying to use the fork to put an incision on all of them so that it will get done to the inside yes let it be done to the inside yes and don't forget to reduce your fire reduce your flame so that the akara will be well cooked right to the inside yes i'm a pro at anything i do when it comes to tummy affairs leave them for me it's my work so it's in the afternoon now i'm here making coconut rice yes this is my rice, already washed parboiled rice in meat stock. I am just turning my coconut powder into it. Yes, I'm going to season it, turn my coconut powder into it. Don't mind the noise. My baby is making noise and he's screaming at the background. Yes, these are all my seasoning cubes. I'm going to be putting that kitchen glory. I'm going to be putting two nut chicken and I'm going to be putting salt to taste yes i'm as well these are my veggies already cut veggies i have spring onions i have um chili carrots a little bit of cabbage and sweet corn yes my coconut rice does not have does not require a lot of veggies yes i like keeping it simple i just want that very concentrated taste of coconut here i am frying my chicken already yes board well seasoned chicken anytime you're making meals don't forget to add your garlic and ginger paste yes garlic and ginger paste are very 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 important when you are seasoning your chicken or your beef or your meat or your protein garlic and ginger paste takes it from zero to a hundred yes a lot of onion as well garlic ginger a lot of onion these will enter into the meat and make it so yummy yes this is me frying this yes i've already flipped it over and it's all brown the way i like it i'm going to be scooping it out of the oil so that i'll have space to fry my veggies yes these are all the chicken I'm going to be using for the lunch meal yes I'm just trying to scoop them out one after the other so that I can reduce the oil in the fry pan and fry my veggies just subtle a little not fry 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 so I hope you guys are enjoying this video please don't forget to watch till the end share my videos subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already don't forget to turn on the bell notification so that you'll be notified anytime i post a new video yes this is the the last batch of the chicken this is the last batch of the chicken that i'm frying yes for my lunch yeah and this is my coconut rice almost ready I had to turn off the flame. The coconut rice is almost ready. Yes, and the chicken are not doing bad actually. Wow, this is my coconut rice. 
almost ready now it's time to put the butter in the middle yes just a little bit of butter here my veggies are already inside the pan and frying i'm adding my sweet corn now i'm adding my sweet corn yes we already have um carrot green pepper green chili yes spring onion and now i'm adding my sweet corn yes to the veggie mix just saute a little i love my veggies crispy yes i don't like it overcooked so that it won't lose the nutritional value yes i love my veggies just a little subtle in hot oil a little then i turn it into my rice here i am adding a little cabbage to it yes just a little cabbage just a little cabbage with just this pan full of um, veggies you can see how colorful it is we are good to go yes we are good to go just have to turn the veggies into the pre-cooked coconut rice and turn 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 yes turn the veggies into it and turn mix it all together yes my rice is already cooked the aroma coming out of this pot is amazing yes it is amazing i love my coconut rice concentrated yes i love the coconut flavor every scoop of it into your mouth gives you that lasting flavor in your head yes i want it that way that's how i make my coconut rice you can see i don't need to add curry to color it yes this is me making dinner yes my dinner is going to be ukodo if you are a deltan ukodo is just fish pepper soup with plantain or yam in it so today i'm making my own catfish pepper soup with plantain or yam in it this water contains already this is my pepper soup spice the water has um onion crayfish a lot of onion and otazi leaves all blended and washed into the pot here i am adding my already pre-washed catfish yes pre-washed catfish i've already washed in hot water to remove the slime yes i'm going to be adding it to my water concentrated water of otais otais or otazi yes that leaf that's a bit bitter i have um two big onion bulb in a blender yes i had a bit of crayfish as well i blended it up and rinsed it into a pot allowed to boil before i started adding my before i started adding my fish i added as well seasonings this is me peeling my unripe plantain yes unripe plantain unripe plantain i'm adding the plantains into the pepper soup yes adding the whole of it i have to cover for it to cook with the pepper soup yes you don't stir so that your fish wouldn't scatter you just be careful about stirring it so that your fish will not scatter yes and cover it to cook cover it to cook let the stock pepper soup stock sink into the plantain here you can see the plantain is already cooked here already cooked you see the color has changed to a, a bright yellow like a more concentrated yellow the fish is all cooked yes the aroma from this is so yummy like i can't wait to dig in i can't really really wait to dig in now i'm going to be adding my scent leaf yes my scent leaf for the yorubas they call it efiri yes this is my scent leaf this is my scent leaf i'm going to be adding and i'm going to reduce my flame now i'm going to be reducing my flame now i'll cover it to cook for a bit like two minutes and I have to turn off the flame yes we're done we're done we're done we're done yes 
you can see how oh my god this aroma from this is so so yummy you can see my pepper soup is not so thick i love it this way it's not white soup it's not in salad thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video bye